Master Volcanus! Because you were just a trainee, I underestimated you. But now that you've defeated greater demons, as well as angelic sentries, I must recognize your strength. What's going on? He got so serious all of a sudden. Did he hit his head or something? Beats me. These angels, you never know what they're thinking. Um, were you referring to me too? Of course I was. Silence! Where are your manners? Don't you wish to know my true purpose? Your purpose? <laughs> I bet it's just some selfish fantasy. No, if he thought it was necessary to involve the Earth in humankind, then it must be something really important. You are correct. My goal is noble indeed. To become the absolute ruler of the entire universe. Absolute ruler? Aw, oh, gee, I'm disappointed. Like Curtis said, you're just fulfilling a selfish fantasy. No, 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 no. Heavens forbid. It is not for my own benefit. Peace can only be established in the universe under the watchful eye of an omnipotent ruler. Master Volcanus, that is your goal? But peace is not something that can be achieved by the will of one individual. It is only possible when everybody joins hands and works together. You are too naive, Flan. Such a pacifistic approach is doomed to fail because of these deceitful demons and foolish humans. That's not true. Demons and humans are capable of... Silence! What do you know about them? I am all too aware. Their cruelty, their vileness in their hearts. Master Volcanus. He's not gonna listen to you, Flan. Well, maybe he'll be more submissive with a little physical persuasion. Uh, Prince, I hope you didn't mean it that way. The time has come. I will eliminate you and deal with the Seraph next, and then I will be a god! From this day forth, I shall be known as Volcanus the Peacebringer! <laughs>